Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot to us. In today's video, guys, we'll show you how to test camshaft position sensor on BMW guys X1. It doesn't matter if you have a four, six cylinder gasoline diesel engine. We'll explain guys how to test your camshaft position sensor. Make sure to stay until the end, guys. That way you'll figure out if yours is good or bad. Now uh, before we start guys, all the tools and parts that we use or if you need to buy a new sensor you can check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we buy all our tools and parts from. Second guys, every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep providing this free information. So let us show you guys what we have here and how we're going to test that camshaft position sensor. Specifically, we have a six cylinder engine. But before we start, okay, let me just tell you one more thing, guys. This channel right here, how to repair, guys. We have helped more than 75 million people. We have information that can save you thousands of dollars on car repairs. So definitely, guys, check it out, subscribe. We are constantly putting new content. And before we start, let me tell you guys what we need to do now. You will need to remove your camshaft position sensor. You may have two of them for the four and six cylinder engines we have one on the intake camshaft one on the exhaust for that n52 engine this is the camshaft sensor right here and <coughs> in most cases you have three wires now if you have guys okay yellow black and orange wire it will be pretty simple we will explain why because the yellow wire is the signal wire in most cases or a black wire in most cases is ground wire and orange wire in most cases is 12 volt ignition wire now if you have different covers we'll explain how to test that you will need to disconnect guys okay you will need to disconnect your sensor use the voltmeter most likely black or ground wire will be ground wire will be black or thinner than the other two you can see it's a little bit thinner uh, and touch the black lead of your voltmeter okay to the black wire go inside your car and turn the ignition switch on guys to where you don't start the car but you have the lights on the dash on then you need to find a 12 volt ignition wire so black lead on the bl on the uh, ground wire and then the other one on the let's say on the orange and in our case we'll get a 12 volt ignition wire if you do black and yellow we'll get 5 volts because the f yellow wire is the signal wire coming from the computer we already have that figured out so uh, what we did we actually cut them open a little bit but i will not recommend doing that there is a special tool that you can use instead of uh, cutting them open you can actually go ahead okay and <coughs> go ahead and poke them with and that way you will not cause damage i'll try to share the link in the description of the video below so the ignition switch on our bmw x1 is already on with the ignition switch being on we're going to attach okay you can see the black wire from the uh, from the voltmeter is going to go to the ground wire the red wire is attached to that green alligator clip we will attach it, attach it to the 12 uh, to the 5 volt signal wire make sure that you don't touch each other or you can cause damage guys now we're reading we're reading 5 volts and if we approach with a okay let's come this way a little bit because i cannot catch a good angle if we approach with a metal tube we should drop to zero volts if we remove it it should go back to five volts we approach it again zero five let's go close zero five there is a powerful magnet that is going to pull actually your two towards okay the camshaft position sensor when the car is running your camshaft will be running spinning around that uh, camshaft position sensor and you will have different uh, bumps on swats on the camshaft that will go through that and it will read it as on and off so as long as you attach metal to and it reads zero your sensor is good guys your camshaft position sensor is good so uh, sometimes even if having an extra oil from valve cover leak in the wires can cause that uh, thinking you have a bad sensor so you need to clean that but uh, you get the idea how to test it hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time 